Schildkri Kwastad and the map will show you that we are heading to Priska and I suspect we've got a lot of gravel road we'll be turning off of this road uh, I think it's about over 100 k's 110 k's to get there but um, yeah I'm looking forward to spending the night in Priska and um, just so that everyone knows it's 10 to 6 in the evening <laughs> Here we're going off. 99. 99 k's to go. Well, this is tar. It might not be tar all the way. I want to say that because it's so late, let's hope it stays tar all the way. <laughs> but I doubt it. Yeah, you're confident that it's uh, gravel all yeah, the way. Yeah. 300 meters later <laughs> and just the gravel no cell phone signal to let our host know that we like two hours behind schedule oh that's crazy but so we just have to get there well six o'clock and um let's hope we get there by about half past seven Look how high the sun still is though, yeah. babe. We might get there by light still, by the end of light, I hope so. That'll be nice. Hey fella, cross the road man. Don't go and sit down. <laughs> hey. Cute, let's not bother him. Yeah, luckily the road is super quiet. Yes. time of the evening is your favorite eh? Yeah it's really beautiful. Mm, especially here out on a gravel road. No other vehicles in sight. Yep. It's just fantastic. Love it. The light, the sunlight at this time of the evening is also really special. It just seems to brighten up everything. Yeah, I'm surprised though that it's still so light. Yeah. 25 to 7. Yep. And when the windows are open, your windows open, we hear the birds. Yeah, that's so nice. Sunset. So beautiful. Wow. This is one nice thing about being on the gravel road at this time of night. Mm -hmm. You get to see this. Yeah, absolutely. then the thing that I don't like is when the sun is gone and it starts getting dark quickly. Seven minutes past seven. Let's hope we're there by half past. I hope so. It's like a mini pass. Is that why they said sharp turns for 10 k? Yes. Look at this.
school bus. Looks like it. Here we are crossing over the mighty Orange River again. Oh, that's fantastic. And after dark. Yeah. Love it. How beautiful is this? So Prisca is on the banks of the Orange River? Yes, ma'am. Never too old to learn, eh? Hey? Yeah. This is such a mess of river, eh? like dusk here in Prisca now. <laughs> yes, I'd say. Look at that floodlight. Yeah. Do you see it? No. Uh, there. Oh wow, okay. They're cleaning the streets at night, fantastic. That's good to see. That's amazing to see. Look how clean the streets are. Yeah. So it's nice to see a town so quiet. <laughs> they start the next day clean and fresh. And the shops are still open, some of them. Oh, really? So for the first time in a while, we on a farm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's pretty we're getting this so late, but it is what it is, eh? And the only reason we're staying on a farm is because it's not too far out of town. Yeah. Okay, we have exciting times tomorrow. That's for sure. Early start for us. Uh -huh. Yes. Looks like a working farm, eh? No doubt. He's got undercover parking. <laughs> <laughs> so even have our own pool.
the bathroom down here. Two stairs down. Okay. So we've arrived at our place where we're going to be staying here just outside of Priska called Brandwach. And um, we're going to start getting some supper ready, which we bought earlier today because we knew this was going to be a long day. And then we will see you guys in the morning. How oh, pretty, eh? Yeah. So cool that they have um, mealies on the one side and vineyards on the other, eh? Yeah, and there where we left the farm they got sunflowers. I suppose they have so much water here. Yeah, well the Orange River is just at the back here. Nice to see. Yeah. So let's go and see what Priska has to offer. Priska by day, you mean? Yes. <laughs> school grounds, yeah. Eh? We're yeah. School Priska. Priska and High it's, School. It's quarter past seven in the morning. We had an early start today. And look at um, them, they must have some sports meet or something. Definitely today, something with sports. Early already, eh? Look at them, the stands are packed. This yes, is <laughs> I love it. <laughs> They're going to be vibing here today. They're prying, look at that. It's going to be awesome. They are going to have a ball today. <laughs> it should be nice to... Um, Explore town so early when I hope it's still quiet. Yes. I read up something. I just want to see if it's still here. I hope it is. <laughs> You're keeping us in suspense. Yep. All right. You'll have to come clean one way or another. Yes, well, if it's not there, then I'll explain. <laughs> it's actually beautiful so early in the morning, eh? Mm, I love it. Yes, it's there. I see it from here. I also see something. But let's see what you're talking about. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Unfortunately, the station building looks terrible. It's no more, I see. Yeah. Station building, huh? Hey? Yeah. Long time already, yeah, once it's again. A pity then, eh? And this old mister. Incredible. Steam locomotive. Oh. An abandoned steam locomotive. Well, what can't be removed is now what remains yes. and will always remain. Yeah.
Beautiful, eh? Stunning. Sun might bother you. There is Briska's name, perfect. <laughs> sure, it must have been a big station, eh? It looks like it was. Wow. Clearer than that, you can't get. Yep. Just to show that you really were, yeah? <laughs> Lots of tracks, eh? Sure. Look, if you look that way and you look that way, as far as the eye can see, right here. Right here, yeah. Two, Where's the other boards? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we never knew we could drive up here. I always like my imagination to run wild a bit. Thinking of the day these passengers used to come here. Yeah, I know, the ticket office. Yeah. Priska Kopi Nature Reserve. Definitely the river, yeah, you're right. It's not a tree. <gasps> Look at the quiver trees. 
It is the river mine. So. Is it the yeah. river? Okay. Wow. Ooh, big ones too. Beautiful. The view from up here is spectacular over the golf course. Incredible. So this was built by the British in the Anglo-Boer War. Yes. Look at this. Fantastic. And look at the holes where they used to shoot out. Yes. Well, let me see if I can get inside. They say it was built with tiger's eye. So is this stone called tiger's eye? Most probably is. Look how the stone glistens. So this must be that. Incredible. What? I'm going to go in there now. You can hear the school function going on there. I think they've got a sports day or something. Look at this. Now I wonder what they must have stood on to be able to fire out there because that's pretty high. See this over here, they must have had some platform to stand on. Oh yes, there was something here, you can see this was filled in, there must have been something around on this height that they stood on. Incredible. Now I'd like to know what this is, because this must have been put in here before the place was built. Can't see a thing inside there. I wonder what this was for. Fantastic. Okay. Yes. <laughs> A little road here, I'm going to take a drive around. This looks like it's built in the same manner as that um, fort. But I wonder if this was part of it, maybe the outhouse. 
and they're using it now for the comms. I don't know. Looks like it. Yeah, that's the school grounds. One can see so much from up here. Yeah. You can see the sports fields. I heard the commentator saying there that they must get the girls under 13 ready and the girls under 14. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I can see the high jump. Oh really? Yes. I think I just saw a Fosbury flop. <laughs> okay. Oh, a reservoir. Yeah. Now this is a splendid view of the golf course. They have no shortage of water. On our way down. How they, great that Prisca makes it um, so easy. They've made it brilliant. Anybody can come up here and enjoy that fort. And the view of the town. And the golf course. That's beautiful. So we're down in town again. Yep. Tiger's eye is a gemstone that is usually a metamorphic rock with a golden to red brown color and a silky luster. Wow. Okay. Then that was definitely Tiger's eye that they built the fort with. Because they mine it in the area, so yeah. that would make sense. This is the oldest building in town. Apparently it was built in 1870. What do you call this? An old coach, wagon wheels. There's a bell tower, a little bell tower. Incredible. This must built it must have been built before the town was even established yeah. in 1878. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. No wonder you say it's the oldest building in the area. Could have been the original farmhouse. Could have. This 
Ska was originally known as Pri Skap. <laughs> That's interesting. Place of the lost she goat. Pri Skap. Pri Skap. Koisan word. Down, eh? oh. These little houses on the street. Yes. Love it. Whoa, look at the church. Look at the silver steeple. Oh. It's quite unusual. Okay, there's some monuments and stuff around here. What's the white track? It's closed, can't get in. And there are other gates locked. So it's 1838 to 1938. This was also the centenary celebration of the food trackers. I also think it's the Jana van der Merwe um, wagon that came through here. And just opposite the Johanna van der Merwe monument, the Food Tracker monument, is this. I wonder what this is. <laughs> it's a solid chunk. I wonder, I wonder if this is Tiger's Eye. It's massive though. That's Reform Church. The clock seems to be working, 20 past 8. Now we've asked a few people about that rock over there. And I don't know if it's tiger's eye or what it is. church hall? Yes. I didn't see a cornerstone in the church or anything. 7 October 1911 was the church hall? Is the hall, yes. Okay. But there's no cornerstone on the church. Oh, yeah, it is on the side. I missed it. <laughs> That's why I wanted to take a drive around. There you go. 6 December 1919. <gasps> After the hall. After the hall. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe there was an older building here and they just first did a yes. new one, yeah. We're looking for the memorial garden with Anglo Boer War graves. Yes. And the lady explained oh, to us. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Okay. Great stuff. Yeah. Okay, good. 
it's nice to see it's a bit overgrown but yeah someone's trying to clean it up you can see that in honor of the unknown that are buried here wow ter ere van die onbekendes hier begrawe Now apparently a lady told us that Jewish people were buried on this side and there were soldiers from the Anglo-Boer War buried on this side. This is a big place. Look at this. Uh, let me go and get the car. I'm glad we found it. Yeah, and someone's trying to clean up here, look. Died in 1896. But look who he was. Late principal of the Priska Public School. W.S. van Heerden yeah. and he was 21. What? Hi? Hold on a bit. Dearly beloved child, W.E.A. Devonish, who died at Prisco on the 9th of April 1897, in the tender age of 10 years. Wow. And eight months. Wow, sir. I didn't know you can drive in here. I didn't know either, but this has just recently been cleaned, you can see. Anglo Boer War, 1899 to 1902. In commemoration of those who suffered and died during the war. Erected by the Guild of Loyal Women for King and Empire. In memory of the following NGOs and men who died of wounds or disease at Priska during the Anglo-Boer War. This is incredible. Leipold Stein died 2nd of November 1897, aged 22. Yeah. Born the 22nd of September 1896, Dorothy Frank, and she died 13th December 1896. Look how beautiful this gravestone is still. Incredible how many graves there are here. Yeah. This was an interesting stop, eh? I think this over here is the Prisca River. Oh, okay, with that pedestrian bridge over yes. it. Yeah. Dry at the moment. Yeah. We came in on this road last night. Oh, did we? Yes. From the other side though. 
Yeah, we came in from the direction we're heading now. Okay. Nineteen thirty-eight is the butcher's um, building. Yeah. Tennis courts on the left, yeah? I see. Instead of John Deere. <laughs> a lot. The yeah. town has a very peaceful atmosphere. Oh, it does, eh? For me, yeah. It definitely does. It's just got so many things that I enjoyed, like the fort on the hill there and the Boer War graves. It's, it's a lovely little town. Yeah, and it doesn't hurt that it's on the banks of the Orange River. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> 